Sport of the New World, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Uh, that Rona, you know what I'm saying? First off, make sure you go check out Black Fox News World Broadcast number 17. You know what I'm saying? Just drop. Uh, I got the track on there, that Rona. You could bop to it, too, you know what I'm saying? But it really gives you instructions on uh, how to deal with this uh, coronavirus disease 2019. And it comes with, like, you know, just facts about what's going on around the world. Uh, but since I dropped that, it's crazy. Now the death toll around the world is 15,000. 15,000 people have fallen from COVID-19. Over 340,000 confirmed cases worldwide. Um, over in Europe, the epicenter still is Italy. Uh, they have 60,000 confirmed cases and 5,500 deaths from it. Um, they, uh, Gi Giuseppe Conte, the prime minister, he's actually ordered everybody to like stay in the house um, other than to like go out and procure uh, food and medicine. And um, all non-essential businesses have to shut down. They actually even deployed the military to uh, uh, the Lombardy region to actually enforce people being in the house. Um, that's going down and uh, 50 Cuban doctors actually like landed in Italy to help them battle with the virus um, Doctors and nurses that is and you know, that's something Cuba typically does uh, in like pandemic stricken Regions throughout the world or whatever like as part of their medical diplomacy program, but that's what's happening y'all green war graduation so The new world though the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black Fox news report so over in Europe uh, which is running rampant with this coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 um, there are like countries taking measures to pretty much lock down these countries like over in Italy For example, you know, they got a lot of cases uh, and a lot of deaths 650 people just died on Sunday alone, you know what I mean? And uh, 5,500 total but over in Spain um, where they have over 2,000 deaths with 400 of them happening on Sunday alone So it's really they're considering a nationwide not lockdown as well Greece, they announced a nationwide lockdown today. Um, and uh, over in uh, Germany, uh, the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, she's actually gonna self-quarantine after her doctor was found to have tested positive for uh, coronavirus, uh, 2019, coronavirus disease 2019. So, um, and this is after they already had banned public gatherings of more than two people. That's serious. Green war and graduation. The new world of the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So uh, over in uh, Gaza, uh, this is the area where, you know, there's been a lot of beef between the Israelis and the Palestinians over um, basically a, a illegally occupied settlements and things of that nature, right? Uh, nevertheless, over in Gaza, the Gaza Strip, uh, this is an area that actually is densely, very densely populated at 1.8 million people, uh, but it's a small area. Nevertheless, um, two people have actually been uh, confirmed as uh, having coronavirus. First two cases in that area, and uh, but people are in fear because this is a place that actually has a, um, a bl uh, Israeli blockade on it that keeps it from being um, able to have like a good health system and uh, health support. Uh, and it has also poor sanitation over there. Um, at the occupied at West Bank, uh, you actually have um, a shelter in place order as um there are like 60 confirmed cases over there and then um over in uh, syria and afghanistan they actually got their first cases on sunday one each so green war and graduation report of the new world though the bishop grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black files news report so shit getting real over in the motherland too in africa there are over a thousand confirmed cases across all of the continent i mean that's 42 countries which really isn't that bad that's like 25 per country but there's definitely some um, more cases in certain countries than there are others. Uh, in South Africa, um, they have the most in the uh, Sub-Saharan Africa with uh, 270 confirmed cases. Um, over in uh, Burkina Faso, they have the most in West Africa with over 100 confirmed fake cases with four government officials actually announcing that they uh, have tested positive for COVID-19. Um, uh, uh, Rwanda, Ghana, and Tunisia um, and other countries are announcing lockdowns. Tunisia has 75 confirmed cases. And over in um, Ethiopia, they're actually uh, mandatory today. Anybody that's flying into the country has to do a mandatory quarantine. And uh, Somalia is temporarily lifting their international travel ban so that uh, people from Somalia that are trying to come back home can actually come back. So they, they make a moves around this shit too. Green War graduate. Of the new world, though the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, 
So um, ever since Trump said that dumb shit on on Thursday about basically how um, chloroquine, this is a, a, a treatment that is actually for malaria. He actually said out loud that like you know that it could be uh, used to treat the coronavirus disease and that they're approving it and that it has been approved. Now, the FDA commissioner actually had to come out and say that wasn't wrong, but that still sent the shockwave of information of misinformation out to the rest of the people. So over in Nigeria, you actually had two people that overdosed and you have Nigerian health ministers warning people not to self-medicate because they basically OD'd on chloroquine uh, that which they had available, you know, to deal with malaria, which is, you know, is, is live in Africa. Um, but also in the uh, U.S., you have um, uh, people reporting the shortage of hydroxychloroquine, which is actually used to treat malaria and lupus. Uh, ever since Trump had made that statement, Green War and Grass. What up, the new world, the Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. Shit is getting real in the field with this Rona, especially in Latin America. So over in We'll say uh, in, in Central America, you have uh, Guatemala and El Salvador, they're imposing nationwide curfews. In uh, South America, you have Chile with 630 confirmed COVID-19 cases, Brazil with 1,800 confirmed cases and uh, 25 deaths. They're actually shutting down all of their borders for all eight neighboring countries. Um, in Ecuador, they have 800 cases with 14 deaths. Uh, they actually shut down international travel and there was still this Spanish airplane from their carrier, Iberia, uh, that was actually trying to land into the, um, into the city of Guayaquil. Uh, the government had ordered that, you know, cars come up to like basically block the runway and block that shit. Nevertheless, they found somewhere to land. That plane found somewhere to land in Quito. Um, but uh, moving on, uh, in Colombia, they actually had a big prison riot that resulted in the death of 23 people um, as uh, the prisoners are protesting um, how the jail is not keeping them protected from this coronavirus. And there's like just real unsanitary conditions there. Um, nevertheless, they're going to, into a three week national lockdown uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow. In Bolivia, they actually have uh, postponed their May presidential election the presidential election is in May, and they are going to um, actually have a two-week national lockdown. Green War graduation. The new world of the Bishop Grady, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So the International Olympic Committee is actually considering what to do with the uh, Tokyo Olympics this summer. And uh, uh, some of those, uh, they're weighing their options, including uh, postponement. The Japanese government is also open to postponement after initially being against this shit. Uh, Australia and Canada have said they, they're refusing to send their athletes over to Japan this summer for the Olympics. And they're calling for a one year postponement. We'll see how that turns out. And also in India, um, they've actually ordered the lockdown of 75 different districts, um, including like, you know, we talking major districts like New Delhi, um, Kolkata, uh, Mumbai. Uh, this actually is coming as um, they did have like a 14 hour test curfew uh, Latin, on Sunday. Um, nevertheless, they only have 400 cases, but at the same time, this is a population of 1.3 billion people, the second highest population in the world. Um, it's really dense, you know, they feel like they get spread quickly. Green Wall graduation. What are the new world of the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report? So there are. 35,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus disease in the United States uh, today. Um, the number is believed to be a lot higher, obviously. 450 deaths from it. Um, be, um, it's believed to be a lot higher, but there's not a lot of testing going on. But this still puts us at number three as far as um, the highest confirmed uh, coronavirus cases in the planet. Now, out of all the countries. Now, um, one in every three Americans is on some type of like stay at home order. Um, you have uh, Ohio, Louisiana, Delaware, and the city of Philadelphia now joining, um, you know, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Illinois, and California on um, taking these like statewide lockdown measures. Uh, in New York City, New York actually has accounts for like nearly half of the cases. They're at like 17,000 confirmed cases and 150 deaths. Uh, Mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio, is warning that like they are 10 days away from a massive shortage of critical supplies and dealing with the shit. Green war and graduation.
the new world order bishop grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so up in the ny the new york presbyterian hospital system actually announced that on sunday yesterday that they wouldn't they're not going to allow any uh visitors uh for uh pregnant women who are giving birth including including their partners you know what i'm saying that in order to like basically i guess mitigate all the spread of uh covid19 uh nevertheless in other news in new york um harvey weinstein was actually found to have tested positive for having uh covid19 coronavirus disease um this actually comes as um uh he was actually at um the um one day um jail but he was previously at rikers island and at bellevue hospital over in rikers there's actually 38 uh, prisoners and staffers that have tested positive for having coronavirus. Um, 23 prisoners have actually been released. Um, prisoners are get, getting released nationwide in order to, like, you know, prevent the spread of the disease. Trump is actually, they, we actually had our first um, test, a uh, positive test of uh, coronavirus in a federal prison at the Metropolitan Detention Center in NY. That's the place that um, uh, Jeffrey Epstein killed himself at. Uh, nevertheless, this is a. Um, this has caused Trump to actually say that they're considering of uh, releasing all federal prisoners that are like elderly or nonviolent convictions. Green War and graduate. What other new world? Though the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. Number of things happening in the U.S. in response to the coronavirus disease outbreak. Uh, there's a new outbreak that's taking place in Washington State, one of the early epicenters of the COVID-19 outbreak in the U.S., uh, specifically at the Life Care Center of Kirkland, where 35 people were infected. Nevertheless, there's a new one going on over there. Um, you have uh, in Florida a number of uh, uh, Florida colleges and universities universities are reporting that a number of their students have come back from spring break from uh, and are testing positive for having coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-19. Um, this is after you had saw all of those images of people still partying and uh, you know on, on the beaches of Florida. Uh, somebody suing Governor DeSantis in order to get him to like basically close off all of the beaches which they have not done. Uh, over in Ohio, uh, Attorney General Dave Gilts is actually under fire for trying to say abortion clinics are like non-essential. And then you have um, the deadline for the taxes has been extended about three months to July 15th, and the deadline for the census is uh, extended about two weeks. We won't graduate. What other new world? Though the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. More on the reverberation of the United States to the coronavirus disease outbreak. Uh, you have indigenous communities that actually feel neglected by the U.S. federal government due to the fact that there are emergency uh, funds and medical aid packages that are currently delayed that are supposed to be sent to these tribal groups. Uh, you have three um, ICE detention centers in New Jersey that are experiencing hunger strikes. Uh, ICE being Immigration and Customs Enforcement, prisoners uh, hunger striking because they feel like they're not being protected from the coronavirus and they're in like these like nasty ass facilities with deteriorating conditions. Then you actually have um, uh, Trump that actually uh, banned non-essential travel along the U.S. and Mexico border, but they're still working on the border wall, which is um, not only putting them in danger of like catching some shit, but also it's costing taxpayers billions of dollars. Uh, and you know, it looks like we're heading to a recession, probably even a depression. Nevertheless, though, another news. Um, well, I'll, I'll wrap that up for this headline. Green War and Graduate. So the new world of the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. More on the reverberation of the United States to the coronavirus disease outbreak. Uh, and NBC, you had a bunch of hosts and uh, workers there that, like, you know, poured out their condolences and. Um, you know, wanted to uh, honor uh, Larry Edgeworth, who's actually an audio technician at for NBC for years, and he actually died from complications of coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19. Um, then, on a, on a, on another note, though, in election news, you actually have uh, Mike Bloomberg. Uh, remember the billionaire dude, former mayor of New York City, that ran for president poured like half a billion dollars into campaigning and all of that just to drop out not too long afterwards uh, nevertheless his uh, dozens of his staffers were actually notified that they had been exposed to the coronavirus and then this was hours before they were laid off and days before their health insurance was supposed to run out on the flip side though you have bernie sanders that actually raised two million dollars for uh coronavirus uh, charities or whatever so you know based on him making an appeal to his supporters. Green War on graduation.
For the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. More on how the United States is reacting to the coronavirus disease outbreak. Uh, celebrity in chief Donald Trump actually said that he's going to activate the National Guard in the states where they've declared a state of emergency, uh, like California, Washington State, or in New York. Now, on the flip side, though, today you have, uh, or on another note, let me say, uh, today they uh, are still debating over this uh, massive stimulus package after uh, it was rejected over the weekend or blocked yesterday by Senate Democrats. Um, this was a stimulus package of worth two trillion dollars, um, but Democrats, like you know, Senator um, and former presidential uh, Democratic frontrunner uh, Elizabeth Warren, basically saying like, "Yo, we're not going to approve this." bill that is basically going to be like a slush fund for trump and his cronies and all of that whatever like his family like you know we need protection for the workers and uh also you have uh ron paul senator ron paul tested positive for having coronavirus after his staff and people in his office say he ain't having any symptoms but nevertheless uh my you saw senators uh mike lee and mitt romney i said they are going to self-quarantine after hearing the news green war graduation for the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. So Reuters is actually reporting that Donald Trump, celebrity in chief of the United States of America, Donald Trump actually uh, eliminated a whole position for the Center for Disease Control last year. And get this, what did this position do? It freaking was designed to uh, help investigate, detect, and contain uh, disease outbreaks in China. The very position that would have, like, gave a, a huge heads up uh, back in December on what was going on and what may happen today. I thought that was very interesting. Uh, this comes as reports came out on Friday basically saying that U.S. intelligence officials had constantly told him in January and February that this was, uh, you know, an uh, outbreak that was to be concerned about, likely to be a global pandemic. And this is why he was telling us that everything is all right. It's not a big deal. It's nothing to worry about type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and then now he's he's lying, acting like he's always been on, on point or on top of it. It's like, when is the fuck we stop? When you go on grad for the new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, Politico is actually reporting that the Justice Department has actually been pushing lawmakers trying to basically get new powers amid this, you know, emergency crisis that's going on with this global pandemic. You know, if you want to call it that, I don't know how much fire you want to put under it, but uh, motherfuckers is dying. Let's, let's, let's be real. So, uh, but nevertheless, um, these powers include allowing for some judges to be able to jail people indefinitely without trial um also being allowed to uh pause um uh hearings amid an emergency as well as uh ban anyone uh who with covid19 or coronavirus disease 2019 um ban them from seeking asylum so uh the you know these measures aren't really likely to pass the house of representatives since it's you know mostly controlled by democrats but you know craziest shit has happened green war and graduate what other new world though the bitch is great letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so uh make sure you check out my mixtape man at still underscore our grind man shit ain't changed that shit's still fire you can check it out on instagram and there's a link in the bio to the uh instagram page again it's at still underscore our grind like the link in that bio will take you to the YouTube video where you can watch it straight through. 24 minute runtime, straight heat. Me giving you songs, or bars that never touch paper and basically presenting it to you as an art. You know what I mean? So, you know, definitely check it out. It's a prelude to the album that's on the way. Still like Ron, that's gonna be explain. Now, check this out though. Um, now, amid like political violence, um, political turmoil, part of me, like a lot of violence, you know, this coronavirus uh, crisis. Um, the U.S. Taliban peace deal in Afghanistan is kind of like hanging in the balance. So uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo actually went out there to uh, sit with um, <laughs> the two presidents that actually claimed victory this past September. Uh, Abdullah Abdullah and former president, or former, who was already the, the guy who was already the pre president, Ashraf Ghani, or whatever. So they're going to discuss this Taliban uh, peace deal. We'll see how this turns out. The Green War on graduate.